All right, everyone. So Riot Games, the developers behind League of Legends, have basically declared open war on Activision Blizzard. Um, and they've basically just announced a bunch of new games. So they've announced a League of Legends fighting game, a management sim, a tactical multiplayer FPS, a card game, and mobile versions for both League of Legends and Teamfight Tactics. So it sounds like they're going straight against Blizzard. Now, I can't really comment on how much they're going to eat into like Blizzard's profits or whatever, but because uh, these games are a few years down the line, I don't think we're going to see anything anytime soon uh i think it says within this article that like they're come i mean the time frame for this game is something like 2020 so we shouldn't be expecting anything soon uh, not only that but blizzard has blizzard has a world of warcraft and i mean I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people on world of warcraft that are more or less addicted uh there's a lot of players on world of warcraft that fucking treat that shit like crack um anyway so, I mean, you know, as for the quality of these Riot games, you know, can't really say much because we haven't seen much. Um, but it seems like, uh, it, I mean, in this article it says, Likewise, a large portion of their tactical FPS announcement focused on how Riot would be tackling long-standing FPS issues like server tick rate, Pikachu's advantage, and cheating. So, I mean... You know, if uh, if Riot Games really pays uh, close attention to detail with these games and really polishes it up, uh, you know, sure they can go after Blizzard. Uh, I think I think within this article they even use the term Blizzard polish or or some shit like that, something really weird like that. Uh, and then. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was this whole fucking Blizzard controversy because I haven't had a chance to talk about it yet. So this whole fucking Blizzard controversy, right? All these fucking video game journalists are over here like, oh, gamers keep turning it into a political issue. Ha <laughs> ha, gamers so stupid, gamers so intolerant. You know, and they they're like they're the ones that are fucking turning it into a political issue because they're the one that they're the ones that keep fucking bringing it up. They're like, oh no, you're turning into a political issue. By the way, let me start talking about politics. And like it makes no fucking sense. This was never about politics, okay? This hatred towards AAA corporations has been building for a while. I, I think games journalists are just so you know, so fucking out of touch with real gamers, I guess. I mean, this this seems to go with all journalists in general. They're just so fucking out of touch that they just don't understand how normal people fucking think. So, like, you know, they're the one that's they're the ones that are injecting all of this fucking politics. Like, gamers are over here. We're pissed that Activision has all these bullshit microtransactions. Um, sorry, stuttering. We're upset that uh, companies like Activision and EA have all these bullshit microtransactions, and then EA goes to court and then calls them surprise mechanics, and then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, you know, actually looks like a half-decent game, and then Activision comes out of the woodworks and says, no, no half-decent game for you. Go fuck yourself. You know, fucking give us money. And... It's just so clear now that these that these triple A game publishers don't give a fuck about us, right? So I mean, just imagine that feeling. You know, it's just fucking, just fucking boiling inside of you. These game companies don't give a fuck about me, and then all of a sudden, a, a fucking gaming champion, you know, goes on a stream. He's being interviewed or whatever, and he says, you know, liberate Hong Kong, revolution of our generation. Also, fuck the Chinese government. Let me just get that out of the way right now. Fuck the Chinese government. I am not a Chinese shill. Uh, please ban me off of China. Fuck you. Anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, the guy the guy was interviewed in his uh, in like a Twitch stream or some shit, and then he said, you know, liberate Hong Kong. Uh, you know, got a little political there. And then, and then fucking Blizzard confiscated his money and, and banned him permanently, initially. They banned him permanently. And then, you know, later on from the backlash, they were, they were like, oh, shit. Uh, hey, China, we're losing customers in the West. Can you, like, cut us a deal? And so I guess they cut him a deal or something. And so they, what, gave him his money back and still banned him for a little. But gamers are still pissed. Um, but, you know, just imagine that, you know. Gamers, they know that these companies don't give a fuck about them. And then this champion just goes, you know, goes on stage, fucking says his opinion. And then literally they basically take away his livelihood. I mean, you know, how do you, how do you think that makes gamers feel? It just makes us feel like 
No one gives a fuck about us. The media is after us. These corporations are after us. Fucking video game journalists are after us now. Like, everyone's after us. Why do you think we're so fucking pissed? We're tired of this shit. Even Donald Trump is going on fucking TV and saying video games cause violence. I have no idea why he said that, but, you know, whatever. It was a stupid fucking thing to say either way. <clears throat> now, let's see if there's uh, anything else to talk about here. That might be everything that I want to talk about. Uh... Oh, actually, no, no, it isn't everything that I want to talk about. Uh, yeah, so even though Riot plans for war against Blizzard, there's one crucial thing that you need to know about Riot, and that's that Riot has been 100% owned by the largest Chinese tech corporation, Tencent, for years without sparking any kind of concerted outrage. So... You know, if you want to say fuck you to the Chinese government, which you should because they're an authoritative prick in the to the entire world, you know, fuck the Chinese government, you know, you might want not want to support Riot. Maybe stop buying those skins. I've actually never bought a skin on League of Legends, but I've never been a big fan of MOBAs to begin with, so, you know, uh, you know, whatever. But yeah, so Riot's 100% owned by a Chinese tech corporation. So, I mean, yeah, Riot plans for war against Blizzard, but what does it matter? They're fucking Chinese anyway. And I suppose that is all. So uh, I'll see you in the next video.